Hi, Holly Perkins, and today I am talking all about your hormones. Here's the scoop. We all come into this world at a certain baseline of hormone levels, and yours is different from your sisters, your moms, your friends. Then whatever we do in our life, in our behaviors, in our actions, causes our hormones to change or fluctuate. So today I've got seven areas that you can address seven ways that you can optimize your natural hormone levels so that you get back to balance and that you're feeling great. Number one is strength train. Strength training brings up your testosterone, that's a good thing, and it keeps your estrogen in check. It is a game changer for optimizing your natural level of hormones. Number two is sleep. Sleep is critical and more importantly, not just the number of hours, but the quality of your sleep. You need deep, dark, delicious, heavy sleep and that helps to lo lower cortisol levels and naturalize and neutralize all of your other hormones. Alcohol is a big thing. If you feel that you are suffering from any kind of hormonal fallout or symptoms, it's really important that you either nix the alcohol altogether or keep it in check. I suggest you maximum take in only two to three drinks per week, always making sure that you are pairing it with two to four ounces of pure protein. Number four is sugar. Sugar can really wreak havoc on your health and your hormone levels. Now listen, if you don't have any problems with your hormones and you don't have any fallout or symptoms, have a little bit of sugar here and there. But if there are things that you're not happy about in your health, your energy, or your hormones, you've got to cut out the sugar in the form of added sugars, and that includes table sugar, honey, agave, maple syrup. Number five is stress management. So you might not think you're stressed, but I guarantee that you are. And if you are not already practicing some form of stress management every day, it's a great thing to cultivate. It helps to decrease your cortisol levels and your cortisol levels drive up your estrogen levels and drive down your testosterone levels. So stress management practices are really helpful to keep everything in check and optimized. Number six is your environment. We live in a very toxic world. Things like air quality, water cleanliness, cookware, and the chemicals that you're getting in your food in the form of additives, preservatives, or even things like water bottles, all really can make your hormones out of whack. So it's really important to take a look at your environment. Are you drinking clean water? Is the air in your home clean? If not, you might need an air filter. And really keeping an eye on any of the toxic ingredients that are in your home, and that includes toxic paints, toxic chemicals, furniture, carpeting, flooring, and the like. And the last, which really hits home for me, is caffeine. I think caffeine is one of the most abused things for a lot of women, and it really throws your hormones out of balance, especially when your caffeine is coming in in the morning. So ultimately in the morning, your cortisol levels are already naturally high, and when we add that cup of coffee to it, it can bump them even higher, creating destabilization throughout the day. So again, if you feel great and you don't feel like you're having any issues with hormones, have your cup of coffee in the morning and the afternoon and you're just fine. But if you're struggling with some kind of fallout and you suspect hormones are at play, I strongly encourage you rein in your caffeine intake and or be really smart about when you're taking it in. A little bit in the morning and really minimize it in the afternoon. I hope these seven tips help. I would love to hear from you. Please leave your questions and comments below on the blog. And we're going to be talking about this for an entire hour, taking your questions tomorrow on Live with Holly. Visit me on Facebook or Instagram at 4 p.m. Eastern, and we're going to be diving into each of these seven areas so that you can really optimize your hormones. I'll see you then.